starting from Dr. Ross Riley, figured I'd actually might as well walk along the west side. Because I was concentrating from before while I was coming here. Now I figured that I might as well cover it while I'm back and back up to West Living. Because why not? I think I already said that twice. If I did, let's just completely disregard that and not pay that too much mind. Now, there's some story I read earlier took place in Jamaica. I believe some, I think it was five to seven. So obviously tell she was really young. Parents wanted her to go to a certain school. And from what I get to understand, this school did not want them to have a certain hairstyle. For her, it was labeled as dreadlocks. So when I saw the picture myself, it honestly looked more like just regular twists, even braids to me. But that's just what they labeled it anyway. So we'll just go with that. But anyway, so yeah, the school did not like it very much. So she was not allowed to attend. But then the parents thought that wasn't fair. So they ended up actually bringing the matter to the Supreme Court, which sounds really hilarious and sad at the same time hence why well, it obviously made the headlines because you don't often hear stories well actually you sometimes do but it's not too often like even if you do see a headline that makes news because of somebody's hair you often won't see in the headline with the supreme court involved because that's usually just ridiculous so why did they ban the serious in the first place because they said that it was deemed unhygienic apparently and that there was Gonna be a risk for lice so like no that her daughter cannot have that hairstyle but what's kind of funny is that technically any hairstyle with moderate length would pose a risk for lice so if that was really actually truly their concern then the policy should be everybody has to be bald to go there because even if your hair is short there's still a risk it's obviously not going to be as high but the risk is still going to be there but from what i was reading it does not even look like the school had that policy in place and i'm thinking i'm walking a little bit too slow i should speed up just don't want the video being too shaky but anyway so yeah the school did not have that policy in place so it makes it very strange that they're saying that particular hairstyle was a significant risk and all the other ones of a certain length could have also been a risk now she did end up winning which is still sad and pathetic because she shouldn't have had to even do that so then of course it brought up some awareness saying that people like the Rastafarians or whatever who like to have their hairstyle are always being discriminated against for being unhygienic because of that style not sure why they're always dubbed like that like they could wash it if they really wanted to so i'm not sure where that comes from maybe they think that it can't be cleansed just thoroughly or washed a certain way but not honestly yeah, no because i've never had that type of hairdo it takes a while to get it a while to maintain it. it was a pretty crazy story imagine you making the headline because you want to send your child to school with a certain hairdo when they said that no they can't go there with that hairstyle because for some reason they just thought it was a risk yeah that's quite strange so okay i think the next thing i'd probably like to talk about is those pixels that have been leaked how have they been leaked i don't know because from what i get to understand this man was said to be i think in europe so if google is in america then how could he possibly get to the headquarters or wherever it was to take the units review them and even sell them i'm not too sure if something sounds right about that and it can mean if they had an office in that location 
I suppose that would make sense, but they did not say that. So how he got them, I don't know, maybe he took a plane to get them? But either way, there's been a lot of reviews. He did manage to sell some, they, I think they even did some photo samples of it. So there's plenty of proof considering that they're supposed to be released like two months. Well, not, no, when I say two months, they're being unveiled on the 9th of October. And they've been leaked since, what, August? Maybe late July? Let's just say it's been a good two to three months in advance. So how we managed to do that, I don't know. Then again, I wasn't reading the articles too thoroughly. Maybe it wasn't actually a Russian. Maybe it was an American that actually did it, which would have made more sense because Google is headquartered in America, of course, because it's obviously an American company. Oh yeah, so while on the topic of the Pixel 3 XL, I might as well say that, yeah, it's not looking terribly good. I like the fact that the screen is going to be big, but unfortunately, it makes you scratch your head when you see the design language. So it's like, okay, they didn't mind putting a chin at the bottom, but yet for some reason at the top, they decided to leave a cutout that's unfortunately really big. Like a little bit too big for comfort. How long has this video been? Can't even see because the glare. The phone shuts off, I'm sure to let me know. That's a nice Corvette there. Pretty cool. But yes, the pixels and their weird design language. Well, actually the normal one does not look too bad. It's just the big one that does. It's the one that looks really weird. So it'll be interesting to see what the sales are like. I mean, the first generation it had a huge notch and people complained about that. No, not a huge notch, I'm saying. It had two big bezels and people did not like that very much. The second generation, there were some display issues. I forget exactly what they were. I think they had to do with the hue. I don't think they mentioned anything about flickering. I don't think there were any flickering issues. But the hue was not impressive, so I caused some issues. And I don't know what HTC or what Google's doing, but they just need to get the pixels right. Now, I'm gonna call it quit soon. I can stop and get some water. But it's like 29 degrees, and to be walking and talking in the sun is pretty draining so let's just stop in front of here and they call it quits okay let's get this place done i've actually passed this place already so you probably tell i was going to ross riley but you wouldn't know because i didn't mention it on that video itself nor did I mention it to a popular like about now? Let's call them kind of mall esque for some reason. I don't know why I have that impression of it, but I do. So, quite a number of parked cars around here. I don't know if it's to play in the nearby fields or it's just to accommodate the influx actually no yeah i think that's what it is more than anything it's very likely just for them to play ahead in the park ahead it's the most possible explanation why the scattered style that i don't know that's obviously their own personal taste so that's that i guess for some they maybe want to be closer to a certain location than others so that's probably why they did that anyway why am i commenting about that let's just comment on the fact that this place has got a whole lot of glass which i find eh, that's typical i mean some places are a little bit more brickish so I'm not sure why the extensive use of glass in this one either way it gives it a very open feel so that's probably what they were trying to go for with the design language another thing that's kind of unusual is the red i'm not sure if i'm gonna be locked out around here if i am that's gonna kind of suck because i wanted to walk around but if it's entirely fenced off on this side then that's gonna put me out of luck and yes it looks like it is entirely fenced off here 
uh, yeah, over there is also a fence as well that you can kind of see from there. Kind of a bummer, I wanted to go around and get the entire building done, but I can't, so just have to leave it there. See what it looks like, out of my commentary, so now I am out. <laughs> How are you, my holy little children? Did you miss that, Ikuzaka? Huh? Who am I kidding? I have no associations with this school. Did you like this video? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for information, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the polls located in the top right corner in the eye circle. He that loveth his ears should not proceedeth to listening to this song. I'm out. Wait, hold on. You see, I originally thought that the unfinished Bowmanville area was the 400th, but when I actually went to check, I found out that this one is truly the 400th. Wow, 400 videos. My 100th video was an asshole 8 gameplay video, 200th was me playing My Heart Will Go On and discussing it, 300th was St. Joseph Catholic Elementary School, and now the 400th coincidentally also happens to be a Catholic Elementary School in Bowmanville. I have no idea what the 500th video will be, but time will tell. And now I'm really out this time.